Hello, today we will discuss apoptosis. Apoptosis is a pathway of cell death that is induced by tightly regulated suicide program in which cells which are distinct to die, they activate enzymes capable of degrading the cell's own nuclear DNA and proteins. So, it is a suicide program but it is a tightly regulated program. Here the cells, they activate the enzymes and degrade their own nuclear DNA and proteins. So it is also referred as programmed cell death. The plasma membrane of the apoptotic cell, it remains intact. But the membrane is altered in such a way that cell and its fragments become tasty targets for the phagocytes. As the plasma membrane of the apoptotic cell remains intact and the dead cell is rapidly cleared before its contents have been leaked out. Therefore, the cell death by this pathway does not elicit any inflammatory reaction in the host. In contrast to necrosis where there is inflammatory reaction. Now going to the causes of apoptosis, it can be seen in physiological conditions as, as well as in pathological conditions. In physiological condition, it occurs during embryogenesis, organogenesis, during menstrual cycle, there is endometrial cell breakdown, after menopause, there is ovarian follicular atresia, and also for the elimination of self-reactive lymphocytes, which can lead to autoimmune diseases, there is apoptosis of these cells. In pathological conditions, apoptosis occurs after DNA damage, which can be due to radiation, anti-cancer drugs, extremes of temperature, hypoxia. So, if a cell with damaged DNA is present, it can either go for repair mechanisms, and if repair mechanism cannot cope up with the injury, the cell triggers intrinsic mechanisms that induces the apoptosis. Also, if there is accumulation of misfolded proteins in a cell, this leads to endoplasmic reticulum stress and this leads that cell to go into apoptosis. Now, the morphology of apoptotic cell is characteristic. The cell is smaller in size, that is there is cellular shrinkage in contrast to cellular swelling which is seen in necrosis. There is chromatin condensation, there is formation of cytoplasmic blebs and apoptotic bodies. Important to know is that, that is, there is no inflammation present in contrast to necrosis where there was inflammation. Now mechanism of apoptosis, this is very important to understand. We, uh, we knew that it is a tightly regulated program. So how does this program work? The fundamental event is the activation of enzymes which is known as caspases. These caspases, they are present in body in inactive stage. They are pro-enzymes. So we need to activate these enzymes. Then there are two phases in which apoptosis works. There is an initiation phase. In this phase, the caspases, they become active and there is an execution phase. In this, the caspases, they trigger degradation of the cellular components. Now going to the initiation phase. The initiation phase is further divided into two parts. It is a mitochondrial pathway and a death receptor pathway. The mitochondrial pathway is also known as intrinsic pathway. And death receptor pathway is also known as extrinsic pathway. Now we will study intrinsic pathway in detail. So what is intrinsic pathway? Whenever the cell is unhealthy, there is a stress in the cell, it will lead to increased mitochondrial permeability. And the mitochondria contains a molecule known as cytochrome C, which is released from the mitochondria into the cytoplasm, which will initiate the process of apoptosis. Also, we should know that in the body, there are few factors which are anti-apoptotic, few are pro-apoptotic and few are sensors. Anti-apoptotic factors are BCL2, BCLX and MCL1. Pro-apoptotic factors are BAC, BAX and BIM. Sensors sense that which cells need to go to apoptosis. They are bad, BIM, Puma and Noxa. Now we will study intrinsic pathway in detail. How the pathway works. So there is mitochondria as we can see in the picture. There is mitochondria, there is outer membrane, there is inner membrane. And 
the cell is unhealthy so the cytochrome c goes from the mitochondria into the cytosol and from the cytosol what does it do is that it binds to a protein known as apaf1 so it binds to apaf1 and this forms a complex the complex then binds to procaspase 9 and leads to its activation the proenzyme is activated and forms active caspase 9 and this is the initiation phase further execution takes place also when cytochrome c is released there is also release of some pro apoptotic proteins which bind and neutralize the inhibitors of the apoptosis and this favors the cell will go into apoptosis now the bcl2 is also present what is it it is anti apoptotic it doesn't want the cell to go into apoptosis so it inhibits it normally inhibits cytochrome c permeability and apaf1 so that cell doesn't go into apoptosis but if the cell is unhealthy bcl2 levels are decreased and cytochrome c is free to bind to apaf1 this was the intrinsic pathway which is also known as the mitochondrial pathway now going to the extrinsic pathway which is also known as the death receptor pathway so what are death receptor many cells they express surface molecules which are known as death receptors they are mostly of the family tnf tumor necrosis factor family and they contain an in intracellular cytoplasmic domain which is known as death domain so this is the extrinsic pathway in this what happens is this is uh, the cell which we are which we are looking is an unhealthy cell which has to go into apoptosis it has a death receptor and has a death domain now the cell is unhealthy and the fast ligand which we can see uh, joins to the death receptor the fast ligand joins to death receptor this leads to three or more molecules of the death receptor to come together and form a complex and this complex helps in conversion of pro caspase 8 into active caspase 8 and further execution and apoptosis takes place the fast ligand is expressed by the normal T lymphocytes which helps in apoptosis now this is just the overview of both the pathways which take place in the apoptosis now the execution phase the execution phase now the caspases have been active they cleave the cytoskeleton of the cell the nuclear matrix protein and leads to formation of apoptotic bodies now these cells are dead now there should be removal of the dead cells as soon as possible so as to prevent inflammation how does it takes place in normal healthy cells the phosphatidyl serine is present it is present on the inner side of the plasma membrane but in apoptotic cell the plasma membrane remains intact but there is some alteration what is this alteration the phospholipid flips out and is expressed on the outer surface of the cell membrane and now this can be recognized by the macrophages for phagocytosis so this prevents any inflammation of the surrounding areas please like and subscribe to my channel thank you